So are we, are we doing a selfie? Hi. Yeah, we're, we're doing the vlogging. It's, we're a, vlogging, vlogging, it's a thing yeah. kids do these days. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> I, I, I'm down with the kids a little bit, so... speak in English because obviously the rest of the event is going to be in English. Clive um, has had an association with Canon for about 10 years now. I'm not going to tell you too much because I'm sure he'll tell you a lot himself. Um, however, he's shooting a job and apparently it's very secret so if I tell you more about it I'll have to kill you all. But the end result is that it's a documentary in India, okay? He's done a lot of work in Scotland, a lot of which you're going to see today. He's worked with brands like Aston Martin, brands like Louis Vuitton, the National Lifeboat Service of the UK, and again, we're going to see some of that. This is one of the four photographs that I saw. Hello, everybody. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say uh, what a pleasure it is to be here. It's the first time in Malta, and uh, unusually for me, my wife's accompanied me on, accompanied me on this trip, and uh, we're having a holiday as well, so we're having a great, great time. And uh, I have to say, everybody's been so kind and welcoming. Um, it's, it's just marvellous, so uh, it's a very, very big privilege to be here, and thanks for inviting me. And thanks for the great job everybody's done in setting up. Martin bit that was my favorite. Yeah. It, it's such Which bit, I, the film bit or the? Yeah, the whole commercial. Oh, fantastic! On the oh, I'm C700. so pleased that you like that. It's just uh, I I was a big fan of that era of the mm. Thomas Crown Affair. You yep. can yep. hear it in the jazz, in the score. Well, we had that. That was all written for it. Yes, yeah, Max, Max Perriman uh, is the uh, the guy who wrote that piece of music. We gave him a steer. Um, As to what direction? Yes, you'd like which, it to which be? direction to go in? And uh, he came back to us, in fact he came back to us, it was to and fro, mm -hmm. and he came back to us with four, four separate cuts. And it was the fourth he put in, and he put it in as a, sort of he said, oh I put this in but I don't think you're going to use it. And it was, that was the one that I saw and I said, yeah, Do you mind I really if want we, that. if I put a little bit of that commercial into the video so people know what we're talking about I and how I, amazing I, 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 yeah. the music and the cinematography and the colour, everything about that. Well, it's, I was very lucky with the team I Brilliant. had, you know, I had a great cinematographer, Chris Clark. I mentioned earlier, Chris has worked on uh, Bond films, Bourne films, Harry Potter films, and I've just recently made a shot a film with him in India as well. get launched um, hoping November time yeah so only it's only about a month away before okay, we let's, it. let's do a little bit of a throwback you talked about your first time holding a 5d yeah and that feeling and that discovery of well you can do video now <laughs> well 5d mark II. The, my, yeah. my first camera was my first full frame digital source 5d which I loved and that's how I got uh, you might say I got discovered that's how it happened for me I was very fortunate that uh, fashion photographer Nick Knight saw my work that got me started and then 5D Mark II came along and then because I'd already been working in backstage fashion I was working with some, some really great designers wow. one being Roxandra Lynchich and um, that's when I made my first sort of tiny film on a 5D Do Mark II. When people say oh it's, it's too late for me to get into no, this No, well look I was 40. 
Yeah. So come on. That's why you know, I'm saying you're such inspiration. Uh, well, and, and now, I mean, now, you know, what, at 50, I'm doing, uh, I'm still going outside my comfort zone. I mean, you, he doesn't look like 50. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, he does not look like 50. I'm actually more want, than 50, but we won't go. She is somewhere, yeah. yeah. I would, She's have, loved, I would <laughs> have loved to meet her. I mean, I, I know how hard it is because I used to work with artists and photographers. I used right. to work for okay. Rotis for a little bit. Right, right. And yeah. as a TV producer, so I understand. Well, bring, bring her in. She's here because without her, I wouldn't be doing any of this stuff. You know, it, it's always... Women empowerment it at its best. No, it is, absolutely. You know, I, I, you have to... Because what you have to remember is you, you, you put these things upon a screen and people see Aston Martin, you know, you see... I mean, I haven't shown any of... I mean, things like the... George Michael or other or a lot of the Louis Vuitton stuff that I've done but um, you see these big names but what people don't realize is there are these times in between and times when you're starting out when you've got nothing you haven't got a bean and, you, and, and also you know I live in a world where you know I don't bring in a regular income so I'm like a kind of like an actor sometimes you know when you're a director and a filmmaker uh, or even a photographer you know you'll be busy for a time and then you'll be quiet for a time then you'll be busy for a time um, what I do now is I generate my own projects but without marrying my wife you know how could that have ever happened because she's Aww. both supported me well in every possible way so, yeah. so spill the beans the most difficult well uh, VIP Say, oh, to VIP! Work with, I, to work I, with. I, I, I if you worked with a lot of celebrities, you work with a lot of brands. The most difficult to work I, with look, are. This sounds like a real um, politically correct, uh, safe answer, but I've been very lucky. I've been very lucky. What I don't, what I'm not a big fan of is, um, you know, this sort of. Uh, I don't know what you call it now, um, this sort of transient celebrity uh, thing, you know, where people um, are becoming stars, but they, it's just for being on the, on the TV, you know, or, I, I don't, I reality don't kind of... TV? Yeah, reality. Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, I guess you Ooh, might say. some subtle shade here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Am I sensing some subtle shade here? <laughs> maybe, maybe, but I, I, you know, I think what's important is talent always comes through. Mm -hmm. I've been very lucky to work with some really, really talented people and uh, I've, I have never had uh, an issue really with any of the people I've worked with, honestly. Well, it's brilliant to hear and we are absolutely looking for, at least I am very, very excited. I look forward to your next work. I cannot believe I uh -huh. met you here in Malta. Uh, by the way, you, you mentioned at the beginning you came here with your wife as like kind of a small holiday thing going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Malta? Love honest Malta, opinion. absolutely love Malta. Honest it, opinion. It, you know, honestly, um, I didn't know what to ex what to expect um, getting here, and uh, it's first of all, it's it's a beautiful place. But you know, you can visit pe places all around the world, but a lot of people will holiday somewhere and not meet the people. And what's great for me is that this time I've got to um, meet the people. Come here and meet the people, and um, and without fail everybody has been really kind and uh, and just uh, just really entertaining and, and great to be with and uh, you you made to feel really at home here you know that, that's what's so nice about it well thank you for your time and thank you for talking to me oh, and it's, it's a pleasure nice to meet and you. i hope uh, to keep uh, following good work <laughs> well look out for the next one you know it's november and uh -huh. uh, it's probably the tell, tell it to the youtube uh, fans yeah no november no, i think so i think so so you don't uh, have a date yet no, no, I don't yet. So but you are in post production now. It's done. Can we it's tell? Done. It's we done. It's finished. finished. It, yeah. so Hold I can on. tell you. Is I can... it finished or is it in post production? No, it's finished. It's, it's my first HDR what film as well. What is it titled? Can it, we know that? No, I'm afraid not. But it's, it's, a, it's, just, it's a short documentary, and it's uh, it's in collaboration again with Canon, and uh, it's my first HDR film. So okay. I'm quite excited yeah. about it. In case you haven't noticed, this is I'm filming on the Canon M6. Right. A tiny <laughs> mirrorless. Nice, I guess a good setup you've got there. Very yeah, good. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'm impressed. Have you got any chat? I know you work with the big stuff, with the big no, guns. No, 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 not always. But this is my tiny one. I, no. I do have a C100 at home and I do have a, a 5D yeah, Mark III. Yeah, but it's what III. works, isn't it? But honestly, when I'm vlogging, mm. I find this the most comfortable mm. one. So have mm. you ever got a chance to try one of these? Or? No, I haven't. 
at all. Uh, you would be able to tell me how to use that. I love the fact you can flip the screen over in your preview. It's, and the M5 uh, goes down, but I cannot then yeah, mount that. anything down on it. And it looks good too. It's kind of retro, which I really like. I Did you notice in the Aston Martin film we had a 1950s Canon, on a, on a, a rangefinder? By the way, Canon, if you're watching this, where is the rangefinder? We still haven't got a rangefinder. Um, but Thank yeah, you. beautiful rangefinder. And can you make something like this mirrorless with a 4K, please? <laughs> We really need this in our lives. I mean, HDR. I am so tempted to move to Sony or Panasonic, but I'm still oh. holding on. I'm still holding on all my glasses, Canon. That's why I do not want to switch. No, you know the Canon lenses. That's the glue. Right. That's the glue. That's you know. The, that's the thing yeah, yeah, about that's, them. That's the, the, the Canon glue. color science. Yeah, yeah. The glass. Uh, you know. Well, yeah. Thank you so much for talking. Thank me. you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for coming. I hope. Some of you, if not all of you, have been inspired by what has been an absolutely magnificent journey through 10 years of work from starting at 40 to, well, being what we're, what is up to date. So, 